The focus of the day two of the U.S. President Donald Trump's visit remains North Korea. During the bilateral talks with Chinese President Xi Jinping, Trump sought Beijing's cooperation in taming North Korea's belligerent missile and nuclear program. Trump's China visit comes right after a speech at South Korea's parliament in which he urged nations, including China, to isolate North Korea. Trump said he and his Chinese counterpart, Xi Jinping, believe that there is a solution for the North Korea crisis. Our meeting this morning in front of your representatives and my representatives was excellent. Discussing North Korea, and I do believe there's a solution to that, as you do. Uh, discussing trade with the United States, knowing that the United States really has to change its policies because they've gotten so far behind on trade with China and, frankly, with many other countries. And I have great respect for you for that because you're representing China. But it's too bad that past administrations allowed it to get so far out of kilter. But we'll make it fair and it'll be tremendous for both of us. Trump, while issuing a joint statement with Chinese President, said that the U.S. is committed to come complete and permanent denuclearization of North Korea. The entire civilized world must unite to confront the North Korean menace. And the entire world is watching us right now. Today, President Xi, we discussed our mutual commitment to the complete denuclearization of North Korea. We agreed not to replicate failed approaches of the past, and there were many. We agreed on the need to fully implement all UN Security Council resolutions on North Korea and to increase economic pressure until North Korea abandons its reckless and dangerous path. All responsible nations must join together to stop arming and financing and even trading with the murderous North Korean regime. Later addressing a business meeting in China, Trump called on the global community to stop doing business with North Korea. We call on all nations to implement UN Security Council sanctions and resolutions and to cease doing business with the North Korean regime. All nations must come together to ensure that this rogue regime cannot threaten the world with its nuclear weapons. I thank President Xi for his recent efforts to restrict trade with North Korea and to cut off all banking ties. Mr. President, thank you and thank you to all of the Chinese business leaders here today for standing with the United States and our coalition of responsible nations. But time is quickly running out. We must act fast. And hopefully China will act faster and more effectively on this problem than anyone. 